What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Lauren if you're new and welcome to the first wedding Q&A I'm going to do one of these now one of these closer to the wedding and then one after the wedding We are currently about three and a half months out um, So we definitely have a lot done I feel like now is a good time to do this video because I can actually share more insight and hindsight of like planning a wedding. I just got back from the pool and my hair is very sweaty so we're going to pretend it's clean and I'm also drinking a coffee that is severely melted but still tastes great so we're just gonna roll with it. And I figured to start I'll just kind of preface like our approach to wedding planning and also just like some basic wedding day details. So we're getting married on September 30th, 2023 up in Pennsylvania, which is where we're both from, but we're getting married um, very close to my hometown. It's like 15 minutes from where I grew up. On our website, I actually have a countdown of the exact time until our ceremony. So as of right now, it's 105 days, 12 hours, 11 minutes, and 52 seconds until I'm walking down the aisle, which is so crazy. But I just wanted to share like some basic stuff that could help in wedding planning before we dive into anything. I actually filmed this the other day and I didn't read through the questions first and I really should have because I answered them in an order that just did not make any sense and so I organized the questions and I'm gonna redo the questions obviously right now. A couple like upfront things about planning that would be good to share at the beginning like where we did our invites, our website, stuff like that. And I just have like some stuff here to show you and then I'll just answer all the questions. So we did our invites through Zazzle. We ordered them through Zazzle. I made them on Canva. I don't love how Canva prints graphics. I've used Canva so many times to print graphics especially for sunny day and I just don't like love how they turn out so I like how Zazzles turn out so you can create um, you want to do like a five by seven size on Canva and then you just save it as an image upload it to Zazzle and then you can pick from so many different papers different like qualities um, like we we did the high def and it turned out so great so this is our invite we just put very basic information on the back and then this is our welcome dinner invite I don't want to share it up too close because there's um, addresses and stuff but this is the same paper and I can show you guys like the back of this. I love, I don't know if you can see it on the screen. It is focused. So if you're going to see it now would be the time, but this is like a nice textured paper and you can get samples. Like you can get, um, we did like one of like six different papers to see what we liked best and then went with these. And Zazzle also has like crazy deals all the time. And then we did our envelopes on minted. So this was an extra one, which is why there's no um, address there, but we typed in all the addresses for each individual envelope which was actually really easy that sounds like a lot but you're getting everyone's addresses anyhow so you can either copy and paste them if you have them on your computer or just type them it really didn't take that long at all and then they're ready to go and then our address is on the back up here and they have like different designs that you can pick from you can't get it without it saying minted which is kind of weird but this was so nice and then we had stamps that were like different color tulips and stuff i wish they would have had something white but they didn't so the tulips worked yeah we love these so i highly recommend minted for the envelopes and then zazzle for the invites but again like make them on canva if you feel like you want to make your invites i might share some templates because I'm making like all of our signage so I'm doing like the bar sign the dessert bar sign I'm not doing the seating chart but pretty much everything else made like the bridal shower invites the bridal shower like game and graphic stuff um, so yeah I might share the templates I don't know yet second thing for wedding planning is a book I feel like this isn't necessary I got this as a gift and I don't think it's like necessary like I don't think you need to have one of these but I do having it we did use it and it was helpful especially for like the guest list like our guest list section is a mess because you're just gonna think of more people you're gonna cross people off like just keeping it real you're going to have like some maybes so we would put like a blue dot next to our maybes um that was really helpful and then I also think it's going to be really helpful for let me find where seating chart yeah so like I think this is gonna be a really helpful portion it's like this seating chart section I don't know yeah you guys can see it um which this is like how our tables are pretty much going to be we have like six round tables and then three long tables so the long ones we'll have to probably write separate but that's a good section that I feel like would be useful and then also for your venue and vendors if you have a lot to choose from we didn't have a ton to choose from um I love our vendor our vendors and venue um but if we did have a lot that we were in between I probably would have like written stuff down in here and then the last thing that we recently started doing that I wish I would have thought of sooner um 
because it just I think this is just gonna be a really neat thing to look back on so I made this journal um, on Papier is the company it has like journals notebooks planners like all that kind of stuff but you can customize them obviously and so I did this one as our wedding year and I wrote that at the beginning it just says our wedding year with the date and we have I don't want to like open well I guess I can open it but doing a thing that so on the first page I wrote like a full update of everything that we have done and booked and just like an update of wedding planning basically and what we're going to do, me and Ben, is like use this side of the paper to write anything, whether it's like a wedding update or a note to each other or like literally anything wedding related, love related, anything. But we can only write here and then turn the paper, mark the next page and then not look back at it until after the wedding. And we can read like the notes that we've written to each other or just like milestones with wedding planning or anything at all. So I think this will be really cute, but... I just wish I thought of it sooner because it's going to be kind of hard, I feel like, to write that much in three months. But yeah, so those are just some things I recommend. I'll link the notebook journal down below too. And last couple of things. Um, one, I recommend getting like a wedding credit card. I had an extra credit card that I had used for sunny day orders that I just wasn't using that we turned into our wedding card. But you just get so many points, like it's so worth it. Um, because you have so many things to pay for and then two is to make a wedding email so our email is his last name wedding and then our wedding date shortened at gmail.com guys that was life-changing friend told me this at the beginning of wedding planning and i'm also an organized person so i wanted to keep all of our wedding emails organized and it was a game changer because everything is in one place so all of our wedding emails are in one place everything we inquired for all of our conversations and then I also have a folder within that email um, titled booked and that's like all of our receipts and like payments and stuff and it's so easy to like look like when we have a payment due or how much something is or was or whatever it's just a must do when you're planning a wedding so definitely make an email and then website wise for us I used Wix just because I make websites on Wix so that's just what made sense um, and it works just like any other website. I have our registry registered <laughs> through Zola, so I have that linked through the Wix one, but um, yeah, I can't really give much input on that. I know a lot of people obviously use like the Knot or Zola and stuff like that, but for us, Wix worked really, really well. It's super cute. <laughs> like, I'll show you guys a little sneak peek. So I'm really happy with it, um, but that's kind of what we used for everything. So that being said, as a duo, we kind of have approached wedding planning um, from the same angle, but like with two things in mind. So when we were booking our vendors, we really wanted to support as many like local vendors as possible and just like... Like our caterer, for example, is like this restaurant in a nearby town and everything is farm to table and organic and it's so good. It's going to be absolutely perfect. And like even just, I don't know, like the bartender that we got, we didn't get like a big bartender from a restaurant. We found this girl that our venue recommended and she does like really crafty, cute cocktails. Like we just wanted unique twists on things. Um, so I, all I'm going to say is like stay open-minded to like just stepping out of the box with vendors i just feel like it adds such a special like unique twist to your wedding and then the other thing that we are like committed to with each other in regards to wedding planning is every single decision that we're making is coming from our heart we will stop and ask each other like if photos were not a thing if video was not a thing if social media was not a thing is this something we would want at our wedding or what would we want at our wedding like what do we just want on the day like not to make it look good not to make it be any type of way like what do we want on our wedding day and that has saved us so much money but also it's like made it so special that like knowing at the end of all of this the shower the trips the the actual wedding weekend that like we can look each other in the eye and look ourselves in the eye and just know especially me because like obviously I am like so excited that it's our wedding but just knowing that like every decision came from our heart and it's just like it feels right for us. We didn't do it for, I don't know, like I feel like social media can just make it feel like you need to have all these things. And like obviously some of that stuff, yes, you want and you're inspired by it and you want to add that to your wedding. But like we just haven't let ourselves get lost in any of that. I think it's a little 
different too because I am somebody who posts my life online and I just have I have promised myself that I won't get lost in like wanting or needing any of that extra stuff. We've just really stayed focused on the fact that like this is about us and this is about our love, celebrating our love, our love with God, and like that's the bottom line. So that's like some upfront info that I feel like kind of in a nutshell answers like a handful of questions. Are you guys planning it together? Yes and no, like I'm definitely doing the bulk of it, but like Ben offers to help and like would help with anything. It's just like I don't know like I've been so ingrained in it myself and like have the vision and know what's going on because I'm the one who like has communicated with the vendor so much that um yes and no like he's not <laughs> he would be a part of it as much as I wanted him to be but um yeah are you guys doing a first look so we are doing a first look we weren't going to for a while and then I don't know like I just realized like I want more time with my friends and family like we we want more time with our friends and family during cocktail hour and that's gonna be the time that we kind of like walk around and like say thank you to everybody and just like say hi to everybody which maybe is normal but that for us like I know some people will go around like after dinner or like different times during the reception we're gonna do it during cocktail hour and then have our photographer like follow us around because our cocktail hour is around a pool so we're just gonna kind of like make our rounds um and have our photographer take photos of us candidly with everybody um which i'll touch on like our photo stuff more when i get to that but um yeah that's kind of like why a first look made the most sense for us and i'm so so excited for that i'm also doing a first look with my dad and i i'm doing one with my bridesmaids but we're not doing it like dramatically like it'll probably just be I'm getting dressed like upstairs at the house that I'm getting ready at and I'll just probably walk down like three of my girls have seen the dress so like half of them haven't um but I still just like think that that would be a really pretty photo So like be coming down the steps and they're all standing there but it's not gonna be like everyone turns around because so many of them saw my dress did you pick your engagement ring or did Ben um so I feel like I've never really showed my ring it kind of needs cleaned I like rinsed it off last night but and that is my ring um it's literally so pretty couldn't love it more than i do and then it has like a little halo down here on the side it's just 10 out of 10 he did so good he got this from brilliant earth which is like sustainably sourced diamonds he ordered it online um and he kind of picked it and i kind of picked it i sent him an inspiration photo like so long ago just because we knew we were going to get married like for so long but he was just in school for so long um so he had this photo I didn't know that he like kept it <laughs> like I knew he had it somewhere but I didn't know he like knew where it was the photo and it was like pretty much exactly this so I did not intentionally like go pick it but he ended up getting like what I had sent him years ago um how long were you engaged before you started planning we got engaged March of 21 and we booked our venue July of 22 so we were engaged like what a year and three four months maybe it was august that we booked it um before we like totally started planning having a big wedding see these these questions are in such a better order i was answering like these questions at the end last time and it just didn't make sense um are you guys having a big wedding so we wanted to have a small wedding we wanted to have a really small wedding it just didn't work for us yeah oh sorry it's i think okay. you're in your room no nope. <laughs> all right hi guys <laughs> what I was saying are you having a big wedding so we originally wanted to have like a really small wedding but it just didn't like make sense for our friends and family my family is like super close-knit so it was like hard to cut people out and I know you can like do what you want for your own wedding but like I just didn't feel like that was right and then our friends are all friends with each other so that was also hard so we were like you know what let's just do it and where we kind of cut it off is if we don't know somebody significant other they can't come um so with the exception yeah. of jeff smith yeah we have one <laughs> one guy his high or his college roommate um who i also know really well he has his girlfriend and him have been dating for like six years so that's literally like that poor girl is the only girl that we the only person at the whole entire wedding that we won't know um if i'm assuming she's coming so that's where we cut it off though so no one gets a plus one unless we either know your significant other really well or you're engaged um, but that actually didn't happen at all. No one, we don't not know anyone. So it worked out. But answer your question completely, it'll probably be 150. I think we invited like 170 and it'll probably be 150. Are you guys doing a welcome dinner? So for us, we 
our rehearsal dinner is on Thursday night. Our wedding is on Saturday. Um, our venue has weddings on Friday, so that's why we had to do it on Thursday. So on Friday, we're doing like a little cocktail-y welcome dinner. We're gonna do past apps, but it's nothing fancy. It's at a brewery um, near my hometown, like right by where the venue is. And it's actually gonna be so nice though. We rented out the back patio. There's a bunch of like string lights. There's a little like bonfire section, picnic tables, cornhole, all that kind of stuff. So it's gonna be cute. Um, so it's not like a dinner dinner, but um, yes, we are doing like a welcome thing for like 50 people, which that was kind of hard to knock down because again, our friends are friends with each other. Family's really close. So it was hard to draw a line there, but we just had to do it. Um, because at one point we had the welcome dinner list up to like 100. I'm like, this is a small wedding. Like, well, not a small wedding, but you guys get what I'm saying. So yes, we are doing it and it's like 50 people. How do you cut down the guest list slash make the guests go about making the guest list? So I guess I kind of answered that, but yeah, like we cut out any plus ones. And then family, we just included everyone, although we did invite kit wow my voice just cracked we do we are inviting kids but not all kids because a lot of people invited to our wedding have kids like toddlers and i was like we can do like some toddlers but literally if we invited everyone's toddlers there would probably be like 20 to 25 under five-year-old kids and like i that's too much um so we only did like the people in the like very close intimate family their kids and then um, like my friend in the wedding has a daughter, she's the flower girl, so her, and then like anyone who had to travel, like they can bring their kids, that is it. So that's also kind of how we cut down the guest list. You guys have a budget and are you sticking to it? <laughs> kind of went in without a strict budget, so my dad is paying for our wedding mostly. So he is doing like most of the wedding, which I am so, so grateful for, obviously. Um, and he gave us a budget, even though his budget covers most of it, he still gave us a budget, which was a good thing on his end. Um, and then we went into it knowing we were covering the photo, the video, um, like any extra stuff like invites, signs, stuff like that. And then um, there's something else. Oh, like I got my dress. So I have some of my mom's money put away where I can like touch it. And I use some of that to buy my dress, which is super special. So it's like knowing that like she bought my dress is just gonna be like a comforting feeling the day of. So she bought my dress and my veil, which is really nice. Um, so budget wise, we didn't have a strict budget. Like I said, like my dad gave us a budget, which pretty much covered like the venue and all of the main vendors. And then like his dad's getting like the welcome night and the shuttle or the alcohol, the alcohol and the welcome night, I think. And then we're kind of just covering all the little stuff in photo and video. So it kind of was a nice balance of everything. Um, we kind of, if we had to have a budget, are definitely over it. <laughs> um, but we didn't go into it with like a really strict budget. My camera overheated and I'm not really sure when it cut me off, but I'm just gonna move on. So dress shopping, any tips? And I have a lot more, so I'm gonna just bang these out. Dress shopping, any tips? So I got my dress from Grace Loves Lace. And the only tip I would say, I ended up going back and trying it on a second time at a different location when we went back to Florida because there was um, a showroom in Miami. And I definitely think trying it on for a second time was helpful. I do wish I probably would have gone dress shopping one more time and just tried on different styles because my first appointment was... I just wasn't liking anything and then I finally found what I was like vibing with at the end of the appointment but then my appointment was over and they're like pretty strict with times with these things and then I found my dress at my next appointment I didn't like buy it on the spot again I tried it on a second time um, and then ordered it over the phone with the first lady but I I don't know I just wish I would have tried more on I I know that this is like normal but I'm like in my head I need to put the dress on again and it's not supposed to come in until like the end of August early September which like I just wish it was coming in sooner. So do I have any tips? Yes. If you're getting a custom dress, which mine, Grace Loves Lace, is like custom to your body, um, say your wedding date is earlier than it is. I am a very honest person. I do not endorse lying in any way. But for something like this, I think it's okay. If I would have just said my wedding date was August 30th, it would be coming in next month. And I would have plenty of time to like, just make sure it fits right. Cause like it's custom, like I don't know. I had to check my own measurements. I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, that would be my only tip. And like, I don't know, just like try on more dresses than you think necessary. That's 
my advice but I guess everyone is different but I do love my dress I'm super excited it's actually a dress that I pinned on my Pinterest board in like 2015 so kind of crazy bachelorette trip share details um so yes we are going on a bachelorette trip he's going on a bachelor trip he's going to Jackson Hole Wyoming um with like 10 of his friends I think and then I'm going to Cape Cod with the girls it is all of my bridesmaids minus one bridesmaid I don't think she can make it she's the one with the baby and then um one of my friends is coming with also so um there's going to be nine of us total it's or nine of us yeah nine of us total and I'm so excited we have like just so much coming up during that time frame we leave in like three weeks and then like um, two days after we get back we're doing my bridal shower in my hometown so there's a lot of exciting things coming up that I just can't wait for but we are doing the trip in Cape Cod we have the cutest Airbnb and um, I did make those graphics on Canva too and I shared them with the group so maybe I'll share like stuff like that because I made like an itinerary my friends are planning some stuff but my friends also know that like I love doing stuff like this so I've been kind of involved with just like what I want and like the layout of everything but then I don't know what they're doing if they're doing anything but yeah I made an itinerary we're doing like some color-coded stuff nothing like super crazy but you guys will see everything when we're there <laughs> are you doing any color schemes for your wedding in general so no um, more like just style themes so like on our wedding or on our invite we put elegant wedding attire for the wedding and for the welcome dinner we put classy backyard attire um and then like for the girls for the shower it, we're doing like a an italian backyard picnic for my shower which is so relevant for my family and it's just gonna be so cute so the girls are all wearing just like sundresses um I think that's kind of like it and then like the bachelorette I said like we have like some like color coded things but it's like pretty chill I tried to pick stuff that the girls would mostly have and maybe only have to buy like one or two things for overall outline of your day anything that you recommend so maybe like timeline wise is what that means overall outline of my day so I don't know if me and Ben are sleeping together the night before, but all the girls are going to get ready. We're getting ready at the Airbnb that me and Ben have rented and the guys are actually going to get ready at the venue. I just feel like I'll feel more comfortable just like fully being in our own space. And um, I always pictured getting ready in like a very like white, bright space. And the venue is beautiful. It's like an older fashioned like home with like a bunch of like wood and brick and stuff. It is really, really pretty. I just feel like... I don't know what type of emotion I'm going to feel that morning and I just feel like if I'm f somewhere that feels more homey, I'll feel more relaxed. So we're getting ready at the house and then we'll probably go over to the venue at like 2, do the first look, do a bunch of photos, do the first look of my dad and then the ceremony is at 4. Um, our wedding goes until 11 and then we're either probably going to go to one of our friend's Airbnbs because they have like a bigger Airbnb with like a hot tub and stuff or go downtown, which I really want to go downtown if there's a good DJ. It's a college town so... I'm sure, and it'll be like in season for school, so I'm sure one of the bars will have like a DJ because those there's only like two bars, so um, they get kind of busy, but <laughs> that'll be funny. Does your venue include anything? If not, how did you find your vendor? So our venue doesn't, um, which I don't regret booking a venue like that because I love our venue so much I would do it again in two seconds um, but it did make it cost a little bit more I think a lot of our vendors we found through recommended vendors from our venue it's like a ton tongue twister um, but yeah like I love our vendor so much we the one thing our venue also does is flowers but you have to pay separate for that but our venue started as like a florist company um, so you get your flowers to them and then they also have a design um, one of the, it's like all sisters. So one of the sisters does flowers, one does management, one does design. So the design is like signage and like table design and like backdrops and stuff like that. So, um, it's like kind of through the venue, but you pay separate. And then like our food is all farm to table. I said that, um, I was asked if I'm doing my own, ma my own makeup and that's kind of within this. So I am not doing my own makeup. Um, I probably would have if I couldn't get the girl that I got, um, not that I'm like some crazy makeup girl, but I would have figured it out because I'm very picky with my makeup. But the girl that we booked, her name is Brittany. She was one of my really close friends in high school. So it's really cool full circle because she always talked about how she wanted to be a makeup artist. But I'll put her hand. She does Jersey and PA, maybe New York. I don't know. 
I know she does Jersey MPA, but she's so good and she has like such a beautiful natural look that she can do and that's what I want. Um, so she's doing my makeup and then hair. I'm actually doing my hair trial the day before my trip, which is perfect because I'm assuming I'll like it and then my hair will be done for at least the first like couple days of the trip and then um, like our bartender we found through the venue, like pretty much everything else, DJ we found through the venue. Um, the only thing I'll say is like don't sleep on reaching out to vendors. We, re we were reaching out to vendors a year in advance and so many were booked, um, especially photographers. I'm so glad we ended up finding a good one. That's a whole other story. Maybe I'll share that in another video, but um, yeah, like so many vendors were booked and we lucked out with the ones that we ended up finding. We ended up paying a little bit more because like so many people were booked but we did luck out and found we like ended up finding really good vendors but don't think it's ever too early to reach out to people it's so much better to just like have a book i feel like that kind of half answered that question i kind of went off track but we're moving on do you have a flower girl ring bearer etc so yes our flower girl is my friend's daughter luna and she is so stinking cute she'll be like a month shy of two <laughs> it's gonna be so cute and then otto is our ring bearer which is my first cousin um, my first cousin's son and he will be he's a couple months younger than Luna so they're both very little um, but it's just gonna be so stinking cute he's gonna wear suspenders Luna's gonna wear like a white bow dress and then my friend Vanessa's daughter is going to be a junior bridesmaid and she's so excited her our wedding is her 10th birthday um, so she is like really excited it's so cute <laughs> How did you find photo and video? So video we found through a venue. I love our video videographers so much. It's a husband and wife and I just love their work. Um, photo, I'm going to share this story but I'm going to make it quick because it's kind of a long story. Basically, long story short, value photography. That's something we were paying for. We were willing to invest a lot in photography. Okay, so we found, I like, so many photographers were booked and I think that's partially because our wedding is like after people couldn't have weddings for two years. Uh, but so many people were booked that I inquired for like so many and so anyway I finally found this girl that I liked one a friend of a friend did their engagement shoot with this photographer and their engagement shoot is breathtaking like to this day I look at it and I'm like oh my god those photos are insane um, so we booked this photographer and long story short I'm not gonna name names you can't find her on my page untagged all the things but not that like it's a heart not that like we ended on bad terms it's just like needed to just like not be tied in case I tell the story so um the relationship just became very unprofessional like we had our engagement shoot scheduled for Miami I had to keep reaching out to her about it then like some just weird stuff happened like she like asked us to either pick her up or pay for her uber and like we were paying like so much money like our deposit was so much money basically did the engagement shoot got the photos back didn't like them also got like 75 sneak peeks in like an hour and a half which is like that's not an edit that's like a filter just thrown on our photos which is like fine for like an instagram post but like not for somebody's engagement shoot or like if you're gonna do that at least sell it and like send them to us two days later um and i didn't like the photos so it was just like frustrating and i was like whatever we'll like the gallery got the gallery for the engagement shoot so many weird photos we literally liked like three of them like the three that are on this book are pretty much the only ones that we liked this photo on our inv invitation my friend took on my vlog camera on the beach <laughs> like yeah our engagement shoot just didn't go well um so we canceled her like i don't know how else to say we canceled her so we lost the deposit ate the money like that's our fault get it whatever okay so then we hired another photographer love our second photographer to this day like i love her work i like her like i would hire her again tomorrow like i really like her but she got pregnant unexpectedly like with her man whatever just like wasn't planning on being pregnant and she got pregnant and um her due date is like six days after our wedding long story short she wouldn't refund us even though she will be 40 weeks on our wedding date and um is from like 13 hours away from where we're getting married and like insisted that she would be there blah 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 so she wouldn't refund us but i couldn't bank on her being at our wedding she said she would find a replacement i'm like i don't want a replacement i didn't pay for a replacement like i paid for you like can you be lenient because like we're not like two months out from your wedding we're not a month out from your wedding like we are getting married during your due week so <laughs> like can we like meet in the middle here somewhere she wouldn't budge so she wouldn't refund us so we ate that deposit 
really fun. Um, so now we found another photographer who I'm super in love with and I'm so grateful because honestly, she's my favorite one that I found. She's my favorite that I've inquired for since the beginning of wedding planning and it just, everything does work out, but this was just an expensive, um, an expensive journey to finding our photographer. So, um, I don't necessarily have like tips with finding your wedding photographer because that was just a total fluke. The only thing I wish I would have done with our first one is do a phone call. I didn't do a phone call with our first one. Um, I feel like I would have been able to feel the vibe out right away from that. But also like maybe not because when we met our photographer in person, we did vibe with her and then the photos were just really bad and everything was unprofessional. So yeah, I don't really have any tips. Don't do what I did. <laughs> okay, we're almost done. Are you guys doing anything unique? But I put some thought into this because when I read this question yesterday, I was like, oh my God, this is like so on the spot. I can't think of anything. So I wrote a couple things down. Um, when our bridal party and groomsmen, like the bridesmaids and groomsmen are walking into the reception, we're not going to do a guy and a girl walking together. We're going to do all the girls and then all the guys because it just, just like takes some of the pressure off. I feel like that can be like a nerve wracking thing for people um, if you don't like being in front of a lot of people. And then me and Ben are going to kind of either like run through everyone or run to everyone. We don't know how we're going to do that. Um, but I feel like that's kind of different to have like all the girls go together and all the guys. We're putting Franklin because like I feel like it's easy to incorporate a dog. It's not easy to incorporate a cat. So we're putting Franklin either on the bar napkins or the bar cups. It's I'll put a picture of what we're doing on the screen, but it's like a cute like acrylic cup. I think it's acrylic. I don't know. And then we're going to put I do too or cheers. I don't know if we're going to do I do too or cheers yet. Um, but that's gonna be super cute. And then we're not doing a cake, so we're doing a full dessert bar, and then we're getting like a tiny cake, like that big, um, that we will probably cut a piece of, and then maybe like just freeze it and have it for like a one year anniversary or something, I don't really know. But we're not doing like a full cake, like we're not even doing like a cake cutting where everyone watches us cut the cake. I'm just like, if the vibes are right and everyone's having a good time, like let's just keep having a good time. There's cookies on the table. But our dessert bar is so good. Um, we're not really doing, so this is something with our photographer, we're not doing stage shots really. Like, I have a shot list for like immediate family and then that's pretty much it. Like obviously we'll have photos together, obviously the bridal party and everything will get photos. But outside of that, like we're not doing like any huge groups. I mean we might do like one huge friend group or like one huge everybody group or something like that. But I want the shots to be very, very candid and just like we are going to experience our wedding day and our photographer is going to photograph that we are not going to create photos if that makes more sense um i just like that's just how we want it like i'm not getting distracted by like needing to get a ton of photos i'm just not doing it i want to enjoy the day with our friends and family and like keep us at the focus of everything like just like the whole purpose of the day um, and I just like love that style of photo more like the candid almost like timeless romantic Photo I know you guys can kind of picture what I mean, but I guess that's kind of unique ish probably gonna do a pamphlet I haven't fully decided on this yet, but like when people walk in they'll get a pamphlet and then the pamphlet will have like a timeline of the day which that way people aren't asking everyone because I feel like every time you go to a wedding you're like when is this over or, like when is this or where is this or like anything so it'll be this like little pamphlet and then on the back, I think I'm going to do this, I don't know yet, with all the table numbers and like where you're sitting and then that way when you're grabbing champagne, you can just like grab a glass of champagne and sit down or we'll have the champagne already at the seats then because I don't know, I just think that's easier than like people hovering around trying to find their name um, and then everyone's on the same page. No one has to ask questions. No one has to bother me about like when things are. Everyone knows and everything is. Read the pamphlet. <laughs> and then I also am going to ask one of my friends, the friend that's coming on the trip, which she totally like would have been in the wedding. We just like couldn't have more people. We each have eight and then I have nine because of um, our junior bridesmaid, um, which we could have had more, but like I just, we were going to do six, then we bumped it to seven, then eight, and we were like, that's enough my friend is really really good with photos and like she's obviously close with all of us so I think I'm gonna ask her to like come be a part of everything like getting ready and just do like photo content for me like just take or phone not photo phone content and just take a bunch of like videos and stuff and like candid photos and videos on a phone so that way like I don't have to wait till we get back 
our actual video to like see everything and like we're doing an unplugged ceremony but then have her take videos of like everyone walking down the aisle and have her take videos like of just like little parts of our ceremony and then like have her take videos of like our final dance when like everyone's doing the sparkler getting the sparklers ready outside like have her stay in there and <laughs> camera overheated again so we are just gonna bang out the last couple questions okay um, what is the vibe? So it's like an elegant, classy backyard garden wedding. It's like fancy, but like backyard. The venue is beautiful, but it's a lot of greenery, a lot of grass. The, there's like the tent has grass in it, string lights, all the things. You guys can picture what I mean. Are you DIYing anything? I might do the table numbers, but I could also rent them from our venue. The girl that does design, so I don't know but I'm doing the pamphlets and the signs, the bar sign and the dessert bar sign, but everything else, yeah. Honeymoon plans, so we're doing a mini moon. Um, our best friends get married three weeks after us in Boca. And so we, we also have a wedding the weekend after ours. So it's kind of just like a little tight time frame. So we're going on a trip to, we're doing a mini moon in between ours and theirs in Rosemary Beach 30A um, which I'm so excited for we got a really really cute Airbnb and I cannot wait so we're doing that in be wow that was loud so we're doing that in between the two weddings and then we're gonna do a honeymoon somewhere in the Caribbean like spring of 2024 because that is when the Caribbean I just spit that's when the Caribbean is um, like the best like the water is the best the weather is great all the things so yeah and we're leaning towards St. Lucia but I'm open to recommendations but we're really, really leaning towards St. Lucia. That is everything. I will do another one of these closer to the wedding probably, and then one after the wedding probably, but we'll definitely be doing more wedding videos. Um, so stay tuned for those. My bachelorette trip is in three weeks, I think. Two weeks, three weeks in like two days, which is insane. It's come so fast. I feel like it's still like seven or eight weeks away and it is not. So things are starting to happen, which is wild, but yeah, stay tuned for more wedding content. If you guys ever have questions or just like want to chat anything wedding related for videos or whatever, just send me a DM or comment down below. And please comment down below if you guys have any wedding tips, thoughts, etc. about anything I said. I'm literally all ears and like it's still, we're still in planning process. So I'm totally open to any suggestions or recommendations. And without further ado, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss another video and I will see you in the next video. Bye.